Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you so much for joining us for our Wednesday weather update for December the 14th. And we're tracking weather also on Christmas Day with the latest update for that day. Let's have a look now and see what is going on. We've got low pressure just to the north of New Zealand and another one out here in the Tasman Sea. Now this one looks impressive but is actually weakening and falling apart and will actually be merged and join up with this other system out here. Meanwhile, Australia's got a big southerly flow so temperatures are well down there. For example, today's high in Melbourne, 14 degrees. One week from now, 28 degrees. And yes, that cool change or cold change is coming to New Zealand this weekend. Dunedin, for example, uh, your high today around about 19 or 20 degrees. That drops to a high of just 12 by Sunday and by next Tuesday, only 11. Ugh. Send your complaints to somebody else. Let's take a look at the rainfall maps as we go through till Christmas Day. So this is the rain accumulation map from now till Christmas Day. Now, the, it might not exactly look like this because we're going to be seeing downpours bubbling up and that always changes the maps. But generally speaking, we're seeing in New Zealand up to 50 to 80 millimetres in the darker red shading. So that's western areas, upper South Island, and the western side of the South Island, maybe a couple of isolated downpours around Canterbury and the lower North Island. Elsewhere though, up till Christmas Day, you're only in that sort of 20 or 30 millimeter mark. So not too much, but yes, still a bit more rain is on the way. The lowest rainfall totals in the far north and the deep south. How about that? Now over in Australia, driest weather up here north of Sydney, but we're still seeing some bigger rainfall totals around Melbourne. There could be up to 20 to 50 millimetres in the Melbourne region over the next week and a bit ahead. But that's through till December the 25th. So here we are now for the forecast for Thursday, for tomorrow. We've got low pressure out here in the Tasman, taking energy away from this one north of New Zealand, and the setup a humid nor'easter across the country, which means, yes, once again, a warm night, drizzle patches in the morning or showers or patchy rain, and then in the afternoon, bigger downpours with the chance of isolated thunderstorms. In Australia, still wet and windy, just in the southeastern corner of Victoria, going up towards parts of New South Wales. It won't be very much. Uh, rainfall accumulation is quite low now, and you'll also notice that the windy weather moving further out to sea and the temperatures going up just a little bit, but they start to go up on Thursday. And they continue to go up on Friday as well, as this high pressure zone moves further along and the low pressure system in the Tasman moves closer to New Zealand. Once again though on Friday, same story, drizzle patches, showers, patchy rain in the morning, and then in the afternoon we're more likely to see those heavier falls inland with the chance of some isolated thunderstorms. This weekend, the low in the Tasman finally moves in, so we'll be seeing some widespread rain and showers along the western side of New Zealand. That's the reason why that rain accumulation map is showing some heavier falls, mostly because this finally moves in on Saturday and also spills over into Canterbury and maybe in the afternoon with some daytime heating outside of the main area where it's raining, we might see a few isolated thunderstorms in the mix as well. Also a couple of showers moving up into coastal parts of New South Wales, maybe also into Hobart. As we go to Sunday, that high rolls further in and the low starts to fall apart. It's really losing its steam, although steam's maybe not the right word because it's bringing in cooler air. And that cooler air really starts to come in here on Sunday as the high sort of stretches all the way out and that's where that southerly flow is coming in to Dunedin and the Catlins and into parts of Southland. So your temperatures drop down and it's a little cooler maybe elsewhere in the east as well. Now by Monday next week, that low really does fall apart in the New Zealand area and that cold airflow is still down here. Remember, Dunedin's high on Tuesday is 11 degrees. So I think you're about 12 here on Monday, but then that next southerly comes through and it's all due to that high, which I might add, is then coming in afterwards. So let's now fast forward to Christmas Day, December the 25th. And that high pressure zone that was over here is now out over the Chatham Islands. The Chatham Islands, the place to be on Christmas Day by the looks of it. The forecast hasn't changed from our video yesterday. We're still seeing a couple of isolated showers, mostly in the hills and ranges inland, warm for the North Island, warm for the South Island. In fact, Norwest is building there, rain in Fiordland, and a bit of a breezy Norwester elsewhere. It's a different story in Australia. Another windy, more wintry change, or spring-like change, depending on how you look at it, for Victoria, Tasmania, and maybe Canberra as well, but not so bad 
in most of the other main centres and not too bad up here in Fiji or Tonga but a few downpours around Samoa so we'll keep you up to date as we head towards December 25th. That is all from me for today though. We'll see you again tomorrow with our next update.